Hey everybody, this is Jessica Lynn of Jessica Lynn Original Studios for JessicaLynnOriginal.com. And with Father's Day and Mother's Day coming up, I thought it'd be really fun to focus on a couple cards that would be super easy to make. Now we do offer a really fun stamp set on our website and it's called uh, Fishing at Phantom Lake. And I designed it in honor of my stepdad who passed away almost nine years ago now. And he used to always take us to Phantom Lake in Wisconsin and we would go looking for uh, bluegills and perch and we would motor troll around and see what we could get. Um, sometimes we ended up with northerns, which was a whole nother story. My sister always had a tradition that she had to kiss it on the top before she threw it back in the lake. And yeah, that's just so gross. But anyway, this stamp set was truly inspired by him. And uh, April is the month of his birthday. So I thought, you know what, let's make a happy birthday card. And I wanted to use one of the stamps. Now, we also offer, just so that you know, if you are looking to make a quick Father's Day card, we have one of our fish up on our website under digital stamps. And you could download and then resize like you see what I've done here, made him a little bit bigger. Um, but we do offer both the stamp set in the 4x6 size as well as the digital, depending on what you're working on. Now, one of the things that I like about the way that I drew the fish is that I built them so that you can see there's already some shadows on the bottom. So it really helps you kind of guide you through coloring. So start with the lightest color and then build your way up. And as you're doing that, do it, I would say intentionally. You know, I, I went and looked up a, a picture of this bluegill and then um, I'm using my Cali art markers. Now I also use Copics. Um, the Cali arts, I'll be really honest, um, Copics are expensive. And if you're looking for a good starter marker that has some of the same type of qualities, um, the Cali Arts are really great. They're a great starter marker, especially for doing some of the blending like you do with the Copics. Um, with this, I'm going to go ahead and again start with the lightest colors, building up my shadows. Now I will add in some Copics while I'm coloring, but not for the whole time. Now to get it to look like scales, I turned the marker on its side and I'm just sort of dotting. And I'm going to put different layers of this dotting um, just so that it has that scale look to it. And um, oh my goodness, so many fun fishing trips. That's all I see with this. It was just such a fun time in our life. We would go out on the, we had a, a boat at the time, not a huge boat, just a fishing boat. And we used to have so much fun with him. He'd get us up um, with my mom at like some, like I think we probably just should have stayed up, but so super early mornings um, and we'd always go and get, it was like tradition to go and get Subway. You know, we had our little, um, our lunch box and uh, he always would pick up extra ice so the subs would be nice and icy. Um, and I remember we get out on the lake like literally hours before the sun would come up. We didn't have to put the, uh, the lights on the boat so that you know other people could see that there was a boat there and uh, oh my gosh we had so much fun I think it was probably the quietest my sister and I ever were because that early in the morning we really weren't awake <laughs> and so we would just sort of sit there quietly on the boat and it was just a really nice relaxing peaceful way to spend time with my parents um, my stepdad Jerry was just such a good guy um, he was really into fishing and hunting and not necessarily my deal, but I, I cheer him on and I, I, you know, we had fun fishing, you know, we made it fun for everybody. You know, we'd go and have lunch on the beach and then we'd, you know, go swimming for a while and then we'd also go back in and go fishing some more and it was just such a different lifestyle that I had grown up with. So it was just nice to have something different and a place to kind of relax and you know, I, I've been thinking a lot during, you know, everything going on right now that, you know, maybe it's time to take my kids fishing, let them try it, you know, spend that time out on the boat and then, you know, get our subway or whatever, some subs or something, and just sort of enjoy it and relax and, you know, see what they can catch. It was a lot of fun. So I'm coloring this in all with my Copics and you can see I'm doing my shadows and you can see the different markers. If it's an ovally one or a square, those are Copics. For me, the circles are the Cali Arts. And again, I'm just building up my colors. 
And I do like to use that watercolor side with the Copics just because it gives like a paintbrush feel. And I love building up the colors with these fish because it just... Now that one might have been a little dark, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to add more brown around it, which should solve some of that. But I really like building up the color with the fish because you really get a really fun three-dimensional feel with them. Now this card, truly what it, it, it what you need for it is some type of marker or crayons or colored pencil, however you want to color it. And then we're actually going to handwrite the sentiment and we're going to draw some fun birthday stuff. So this will be, you know, one of those that let's say you purchase the digital, the digital stamp. Um, you could go ahead and just, you know, copy along with us, color them all in. And then you'd be able to come back at the end and handwrite in your your special message. And I love this. I think it just ugh, he colors just so beautifully. All right, so let's go ahead and finish coloring, and then we'll assemble the card in just a moment. All right, now that our adorable little fish is all colored in, I'm literally just going to go ahead and glue him right to the bottom of the card. I think that this will just kind of hold his place. And some of the options or ideas I had was maybe do I put water, you know, water paper behind it? Do I color it something, you know, to make it look like water? And I think we'll get to that. I'm just going to sign the back of the card so that I don't forget. I think it's so important to sign the back of the cards because then people know that you created it especially for them. Now, let's go ahead. And what I decided to do was I was going to draw some balloons. So I'm going to draw three balloons that are going to come right off of him. And again, if you're not comfortable doing this, you know, maybe find a template that you could use. Um, or if you have a stencil, maybe your kids have stencils, that'd be fun. Um, but go ahead, just draw three circles, do the little bloop, bloop, bloop for the bottom, and then we're just going to draw a string right to the fish. There we go. Trying to make them fairly even in size. And then just run that string all the way down, and we got to go over my little, there we go. Perfect. And then the sentiment that we're going to have for this card, um, I decided again to handwrite it. I'm going to put, fishing you a happy birthday. And I'm just handwriting this. Now, one of the things you could have used is like a, a letter mate, which would have made the lettering straight. You could have used a ruler. I didn't. Um, I think it's fairly straight. Um, but again, I'm just handwriting this. But I think sometimes there's a place and a time for these immaculate cards. And then I think there's also a place for, you know, I made this card for you because I love you or I care about you or anything like that. And, you know, I really like how this card turned out. Now the three colors, I'm going to keep them masculine in color. Um, my initial instinct obviously is to go to something bright and, you know, tropical. But for these fish, I decided to stick with um, green, blue, and brown. So very masculine colors. 
Um, I think if my stepdad was around, he would definitely get a kick out of this card and, and tell me it's completely silly, which is pretty much the goal. But again, this is just to show you that, you know, you don't have to, you know, do all kinds of crazy um, templates or weird cuts or use your brother's scan and cut and cut out all kinds of, you know, crazy things. Truly just going back old school and paper crafting something by hand. I mean, it really means a lot. And I, I've given a lot of cards over the years, and I know a lot of people really enjoy that. So there we go. We're just adding some gray on there so it has some shadow. And then we're going to go ahead and add that tan brown color. And you can see I added some shadows behind there, and I'm just adding some extra depth to the balloons. And after I got done filling in the balloons, I kind of started looking at it going, ah, do I leave it white? I like it. It's almost like he's flying away out of the fish tank. But then I thought, you know what? I kind of want him in the fish tank. And I know that's odd because, you know, a fish wouldn't have balloons in the tank. Although maybe it's one of those, uh, I remember when I was a kid, I had one of those... Um, Remember the snorkel guy that would go in your fish tank and then he'd bubble up and float up to the top and then he'd sink back down and then he'd bubble up and go to the top? Maybe it's one of those. I don't know. So I decided to add bubbles and when I was done in true Jessica fashion, I decided to add a little bit more embellishment and uh, I found a Copic marker and it's called Cool Shadow, so BG10. And with that, I started just kind of coloring the bubbles. And then I realized, you know what? No, I need to make it just not look like a white card, the white background. And so I took the blue and just sort of started watercoloring effect all the way around it. And it really made the fish pop. And so again, it wasn't my initial gut instinct to do. But then once I kind of found this color that was a very faint color, it was the perfect thing to do. And in person, I know it's hard on the camera to see all the blue that out actually looks on there. Um, and then I decided to go around with the heavier part of the marker, put a little sheet of paper underneath there, and I'm just going to darken the edge because I really want it to pop. For a moment while it was still drying, it almost looked like a fish tank. There we go. Such a fun and easy and fast card that you can make too. Um, definitely go and check out our website, just jessicalynoriginal.com. Again, my name is Jessica Lynn. I am the owner and artist for all of our stamps that you see. So I would love to have you come back to our YouTube channel. I love featuring easy, quick projects. I also do more in-depth projects. Um, I do drawings. You can join our Digital Stamp Club of the Month and get a free digital stamp as part of your support to our channel. If you're interested in that, just click on the join down below. But thank you again and have a great day.